Welcome back, everyone. The moment you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, to see if I actually did take the plunge. Well, let's go and check it out. As you can see, I'm just about to do my skydive. I've got my uh, breasts in place. Now it's probably about, uh, I got up about four o'clock in the morning. It's about minus two degrees and they've told me that it's about minus 40 degrees. So we'll be putting everything to the test. The cold weather, I'm sure these uh, probably won't freeze, but we're gonna put that one to the test. And we're gonna hopefully uh, overcome this myth of breasts exploding. So hope you ladies are happy. Uh, we're about to uh, head off very shortly. So wish me luck, and I'll see you at the bottom. Fingers are frozen. As you can see, put to the test, aren't they? They were. Still intact. They almost popped out. I can hardly breathe. And my mouth's frozen. But there you go. Handy side's putting it to the test. Well, you can obviously see that I made it safe and sound. I did slip in a couple of saline implants into my pocket to test those as well. But again, nothing exploded. Now I want to give you some tips on how to choose your plastic surgeon, dentist, doctor or nurse when you're considering having a cosmetic treatment. So number one, what I would do is ask your friends, neighbours and business colleagues if they can recommend a practitioner based on their own personal experience. Number two, do your homework about a particular surgeon and investigate the amount of cosmetic surgery experience they've actually had in each procedure. Now, a practitioner's membership in a professional organisation is one of the many factors in determining the level of their qualification. Of the professional societies, some are more specialised than others and have more strict requirements. Let's have a quick look at some of the leading associations in the UK you should be looking out for when considering your cosmetic treatment. OK, we've got BAPS, which is the British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons. We've got BAPRAS, which is the British Association of Plastic Reconstructive Anesthetic Surgeons. We've got the BACD, which is the British Association of Cosmetic Doctors. The BACD also, which is the British Association of Cosmetic Dentists. Number four, when you're booking a consultation with your chosen clinic, make sure you see the actual surgeon or doctor who will be operating on you before you have your procedure. Number five, before and after photographs are a great way to get a good insight into the surgeon's ability. Although you must realize that you cannot guarantee the result that you will achieve, it's important to remember that every patient has different goals and expectations and therefore results may vary. So all of this information is on myfacemybody.com and you will have the benefit of meeting most of our specialists through videos of themselves, a virtual tour of their facilities, and hear from some of their patients. A lot of our consumers have found these videos invaluable because they have saved them time and money. Now, let's look at another great story from a patient that has had an amazing cosmetic experience. Every month on the My Face, My Body show, we'll be talking to real life case studies that have had all sorts of cosmetic treatments that are available in the UK. Um, today we're here with Nicola Brooks, who was treated by Mr. Chris Inglefield at London Bridge Plastic Surgery, who had the Macrolane treatment. Now, I'll be talking to her about what she thought of her results, um, if there was any sort of uh, risks or complications that um, she was worried about, um, whether it was painful, and um, also what her friends and family thought about her having the treatment. So let's go and uh, find out what she's got to say. 